and we're back. So, um, we ran into to some hunters, and uh, had to get past that, and uh, move on and continue down this fort. So, when we make videos like this, this is the first. This will always be the first time we've been down the road, unless we've found something really good, and then we show. Um, partials not the very spot but so we like to for those of you um, that can't get out or like outdoor videos and like seeing the scenery of backwoods driving okay forestry service roads FSR is a for, stands for forestry service road beautiful British Columbia Canada I used to dream of doing this years ago Good 15 years ago, we used to dream of it. My gold digger wife over there, and, <laughs> and we used to dream of being able to go over there and do this. And it's not about, um, it's a thrill of possibly finding something that could uh, change your lives, but there's always that, I'd say about 80% knowledge that. It could take a lifetime to find anything valuable. However, it's the joy to get away from um, the sights and sounds of automation and stuff, of, I guess, of uh, noise and traffic and work machinery, I guess. I don't know. But I grew up in the wilderness, so this is like, I don't see any power lines, I don't see any concrete buildings, sidewalks, and that makes me feel right at home, ladies and gentlemen. Look at this giant boulder. Hmm. Oh, Mama's yawning. No, I'm not. <laughs> Trying to get her home. Taking no soup last night, sorry. Yeah, we have a cat, a male cat who's fixed, but he will not shut up. He's sleep. You know, the female cats are going to heat him. Going, meow, meow, meow. Well, this male cat, so it's just Tigger. He's always 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 posting cute little pictures of him on her Facebook. And this bugger, Tigger, he's seven years old. He's twenty pounds. He's part Maine Coon, but he has a deep yow and he'll go wow, and he'll wake us up. It's like, what do you want, cat? Shut up. So t today we played cat and mouse. I play cat and mouse with him. He would not shut up. So I chase him. Down the hallway a little bit, and you run and hide, and then you come back out and meow. So this time I step behind the doorway, and I grab a grab the flask of water that was on the counter behind me, and I waited for him to. He came out. He didn't realize I was hiding around the corner, and he came out, and he thought I was in my little office down the hallway, and he let out a roar or meow, and I dumped the water on his head, and he <laughs> just sputtered and looked at me, and he and he went meow, and then you turn around and. Went and jumped on the on the bed and started drying himself off. And he looked at me and I said, "Don't do that, Tigger." So he was quiet for a couple hours. No, a couple hours. More like five minutes. But he was getting so irritated, he just wanted to pick him up and throw him up outside. But we don't let them outside because we live in an area with high coyote population, and they would just make an old and cougars. Coyotes mainly would uh, just make a derb out of him, 20 pounds or not. Look at this prime sampling stuff. But it's all jagged, so it's never been tumbled, so it's not river. But yeah, that's weird, eh? That's a, like a, that's, that's a slab of bedrock, actually. Wow, that's interesting for sure. We just seen our first slab of bedrock. So. That's definitely interesting. Yeah, I think this is going to be our turnaround spot because that one there, I don't want to go any further because I, I can see up there that that ditch right there is too steep for the truck with the running boards on it. So this will be our turnaround spot. If, if you want to have a smoker, I want to see Nate, Nate. Nate, Okay, so we'll get out of here and do a quick uh, peek at this stuff. 
This is about the dead end that I was looking for. And yeah, big slab of bedrock down there on its side, which is quite interesting. Um, I don't see anything indications of river quarry or the river here or anything like that because I'd be looking for tumbled rock, smooth boulders, and what we have is all jagged. So basically, broke off chunks of uh, whatever. So, on the quest for uh, what's that slogan on our web website at uh, aprospecting.com? To boldly search for hidden treasures. That's it. That's our motto. To boldly search for hidden treasures. Gems and all kinds of things. So that's about as beautiful as it gets. And there's our 4 by 4 and, and away we go. And somebody else just showed up here, so we're going to get out of the way and 